The Magic Pencil Once upon a time, there was a small town called Cloudy. And in Cloudy, there lived a brilliant artist by the name of Albert. Albert was so good at his work that many times people mistook his paintings for real objects. He painted portraits of rich people in his town and earned well. He would carry his canvas everywhere and randomly choose a place and start sketching. He was a brilliant sketcher. He would sketch sunsets, fruits, and human portraits and make them all look very real. But since it was a small town, there were only so many paintings he could make. Over the time, he began to struggle to find work. The river where Albert usually went to paint the sunset stood a beautiful tree. Albert loved that tree. He had painted that very tree on his canvas so many times, and yet he never got bored of it. He talked to the tree as if it were human. Oh, come on, tree. Ruffle your leaves a little. <laughs> you know, sometimes it feels like you can hear me. But Albert didn't know that there was someone on the tree who did hear him and loved his drawings. It was Pickle, the pixie. That tree was home to Pickle. She was very shy and loved the green, dense leaves that kept her cool and safe. I do wish you could hear me through and help me out, you know. There is no work in this town now. I can leave and go to another town, but this is where my home is. I can't leave this place. <sighs> but I guess I will have to do that now. All I know is how to paint. And if there aren't enough buyers for my paintings here, then I think I will have to shift to another town. After Albert left, Pickle looked sad. Oh, I don't want him to go. I love his paintings. He is such a nice and honest man. How can I make more people buy his paintings? Hmm, wait, that's not the real problem. The real problem is that he will not be able to earn. I can't force more people to buy his paintings, but I can help him have what he wants. After thinking for a while, Pickle rushed to her tree hollow and began to work. She worked the whole night, and the next day, Pickle was ready with her creation. It was a very shiny and beautifully carved pencil. Aha! Uh -huh. This will help Albert! That afternoon, when Albert, as usual, went to paint his favorite tree, there on a rock, he saw the pencil. Wow! It's so shiny! It's the most beautiful pencil I have seen in my whole life! I wonder whose it is. Maybe I should not pick it up. The real owner will come looking for it. Albert left without painting the tree that day. He was very restless to leave the pencil behind, but he didn't want to pick up something that may belong to someone else. The next day, Albert went to his tree sooner than usual. He was secretly hoping to see that pencil on the rock, and there it was. Oh, it's still here. Um, maybe it doesn't belong to anyone. I have heard stories about this forest. Maybe they are real. Maybe there is magic in here. Albert picked up the pencil and examined it. He then took out his paper and began to draw a beautiful leaf. This pencil is amazing. My drawings have never looked so beautiful. Oh, wait. What's happening? The leaf was coming to life, and in no time, 
there was a real leaf sitting on the paper. How, how is this possible? Albert carefully picked up the leaf and kept it aside. To test it once more, he began to draw an apple. As soon as he was done sketching it, it came to life. Oh no! This is a magic pencil. I can draw anything I need. Albert's happiness knew no bounds. He jumped with joy and ran home. Pickle saw Albert leave and was happy to help her talented friend. She knew she had done the right thing. She trusted Albert to use the pencil wisely. As Albert went home, he put up his canvas and was excited to draw anything and everything he needs. Firstly, he drew delicious dishes of food, but in his haste, rather than drawing a proper mango, he drew a circle. But nothing happened. He rubbed it off and tried to draw again, but he was so excited that once again he was only able to draw a rough oval outline. And yet again, nothing became of it. Finally, calming his nerves, Albert began to sketch again. This time, he was patient, and he used his skill to draw a mango. Immediately, a mango appeared. So, this pencil will give me only those things that I carefully and perfectly sketch on the canvas. Hmm. What Albert didn't know is that the pencil was especially made for him and him alone. Nobody in the whole town could sketch as perfect as Albert could. Pickle knew this, so she made the pencil in a way that nobody could steal it from Albert and misuse it. She also wanted Albert to always stay calm when he used the pencil. She knew how important it was to never lose our cool in any situation. Once Albert understood how to use the pencil, there was nothing stopping him. He drew everything he had always dreamt of: delicious food, crops, dresses, antiques for his house. He used his paints to color his sketches and drew fresh flowers every day. Albert was very happy and was leading a very comfortable life. But soon enough. It got too comfortable. Well, now what? I have everything I want. What else can I do with this pencil? Hmm. Why don't I help my people here? I can draw anything they need. As decided, Albert went to all his close friends in the town and explained them everything. Nobody <laughs> believed Albert at first. Oh, come on! You have too much free time on your hands. <laughs> That's correct. You have also started storytelling now. This is not a story. Wait, I will show you. Albert knew that his friend needed a tractor to work better in the fields, but due to lack of money, he wasn't able to buy one. Albert quickly took out his paper and carefully drew a tractor. Okay. Now everybody, step aside. Within no time, there was a real tractor standing in front of them. Everybody cheered for Albert. After that day on, Albert helped a lot of his people. He shared his gift with everybody with no hesitation. People in Cloudy were generous and hardworking. Nobody ever asked for anything they didn't need. Days passed. And a tourist came visiting the town. As he walked around, he realized that something about Cloudy was strange. Although it was a small town, people seemed to be living a better life. He decided to inquire. He asked around, and the innocent people of Cloudy, they told him all. Magic pencil? Is this for real? I have to go see this painter. The tourist was a greedy man. He hid behind a tree, and as soon as he saw Albert, he abducted him. Ah! Who is it? Quiet! Listen to me. I don't have all day for this. All right? Quickly, 
draw me many different and expensive rubies and a sack to take them in. Now! Albert took his pencil out and began to draw. But he was so scared that all he could draw were rocks. What are these? How dare you joke around? Move! I will draw myself the shiniest gold chain. The tourist was not an artist. In fact, he was terrible at drawing. When he tried to draw a gold chain, a long and shiny snake appeared. Hey, help! But while the tourist was trying to run away from the snake, Albert calmed himself down and drew a big cage. As soon as the cage appeared, the tourist went inside and Albert shut its door. After the snake was gone, Albert called the police and complained against the tourist. He explained how he was abducted and made to use the magic pencil to satisfy the tourist's greed. <sighs> Peace was restored in Cloudy. Everybody was proud of how well Albert handled the situation. Albert himself had learned a very important lesson. He realized how dangerous it can be to have things without having to work for them. He decided to bury the pencil under the very rock he had found it. It's believed that the magic pencil is still buried near Albert's favorite tree, a tree with the little pixie living on it.